Hello my Cancers, this is Sunny Avi and I'm going to do your weekly for the week of August 16th through the 22nd, 2020. Keep in mind that these are general, so things that I talk about may not resonate with you. And this shall be alright. If you are interested in a personal reading, please check out the description bar below because all of my information is there. Disclaimer with my readings. I do talk fast and I do curse and do to me with a lot of energies. My readings can be pretty jumpy. Alright y'all. When I got to y'all, I, I was just singing. It just seems like I'm in a singing mood or spirit is just connecting with me through songs. Um, when I got done reading the Geminis, there was a particular song that popped in my head and I just gave them that theme. But I'm also singing that song with y'all too. So the song is um, by Avant, Will You Love Me When It Hurts. Um... Also, another song that came in my head was by Fifth Harmony, and the song is called Flex. So, um, maybe for my cancers, um, you're going to be very sexual during this time. Um, I am picking up for some of you. You are going to be more loving. You may be reaching out to friends and family during this time as well. But let's see. Let's see what's going on for y'all. Mm, okay okay now um I feel for some of you you may be wearing your heart on your sleeve just a little bit and I do see where um your heart will distract you from many things okay um spirit wants me to talk about this card as if it's a person some of you, you may have an issue with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, or the reason for you having issues with love is because of your father or the fire sign. If you had like a fire sign parent or the father figure um, in your life, I know that sounds kind of weird, but y'all these generals are really for a lot of people. So if it, if it resonates, take it in. But um. But for majority of you, I feel like this is more in regards to father. Like your heartbreak came from father. Um, or maybe you notice like your father um, having a hard time. Or maybe, you know, he didn't really love you properly. He just gave you more beatings than anything. And you can say that you want to. Um, but for some reason, I feel that now in, in, in your adult ages, you're having a hard time getting over a fire sign or you're having a hard time with a fire sign and maybe for some of you the fire sign in your chart is causing for you to be a bit out of whack um, or tipsy topsy topsy toby when it comes to the matters of your heart and you know maybe you're looking for love in all the wrong places maybe um, you've let people run over top of you or you've done this to others and for some reason like I, I just feel for some of you you may be in a position where you're getting a dose of your own medicine or you're witnessing someone getting a dose of their own medicine but it makes you feel bad at the same time um, for my cancer fathers out there um, I do see where you may be having a heart-to-heart -heart with yourself or maybe a heart-to-heart -heart with your children um, you may be talking to them about the difficulties that's going on in the world today or um, you may be talking to them and you know telling them I'm sorry that I wasn't really there for you you know whether you say this shit directly or indirectly or you beat around the bush I, I just feel like you are going to connect with your child some way somehow or maybe this happens via dream okay maybe there's this healing uh, going on in the spiritual sense. Sorry, I had to get my leg comfortable. Um, maybe for some of you, there will be injury uh, in regards to your leg, and you have to sit out. Um, be mindful of your legs um, and knees or ankles or feet swelling. And you know, once again, you have to sit down. Um, okay. Some of you be mindful of heart attack as well and like heart issues, heart failure, unfortunately. Um, this may not be for you per se, but this may be for someone around you, someone close to you. This may also be a father figure or 
a um, male in your life. Um, I just see, unfortunately, some of you like you're witnessing someone going through heartache. You're going through heartache, or there's some sort of injury to the leg, or maybe to the arm, maybe the back, and this causes for you to be depressed because you can't really do what you want you can't function the way that you want and you feel totally dependent upon other people and maybe with you realizing that you are depending upon others in some way somehow i feel like this is allowing for you to understand how you've been dependent upon other people and other aspects of your life instead of just this one incident that you're going through right now um, so maybe for some of you, you are having a heart to heart. Um, maybe, maybe you want to, uh, maybe you want to solve all the pain that you've caused, vice versa. Honey, you may be reaching out to exes or exes may be reaching out to you. Or once again, you're reaching out to children, you're reaching out to family members or they're reaching out to you. And you know they're they're telling you I'm sorry. Or once again you're dreaming about this, um, and you don't mind you don't mind being the one saying I'm sorry. Or you know maybe you told other people. Or oh, if my dad comes back, I'm not gonna tell him I forgive him or none of that. And maybe when that moment comes, you do forgive them. I, I just feel like maybe at the same time, some of you, you, you may be biting on your words, especially when it comes to either I'm sorry or forgive me or I forgive you. Okay. Um, or will you take me back? Honey? I just feel for some of you like you're biting on your words. Um, I am picking up that uh, there may be talks of engagements during this time. But... um. I really wouldn't recommend engagements during this time because I just feel like some of you like you're just trying to put sugar on shit like especially if you aren't really dealing with your issues you may feel that a ring or maybe a baby will bring happiness or an understanding into the relationship but it's really not because you guys are still gonna have the same problems especially if you aren't dealing with them but I honestly feel for this week, like, it's really all about healing your problems right now. And saying that sorry or, you know, fully forgiving that person and not talking about it anymore. You may think of it, but, you know, maybe you're thinking about it in a different mindset, you know. Um, something must change. Something must change. Some of you, you may go through an unfortunate event that, rec that makes your ass change. Um, spirit is really pushing change for y'all and it's going to come for better or for worse. Um, but like I said before, I do feel like this is a great time to say I'm sorry. It all goes with the healing process. Um, try not to wear your damn heart on your sleeve. For some of you, you need to be mindful of you um, trying to fill in voids with, uh, with smoking, drinking, sex. Uh, shopping, overeating, maybe um, you are, what's it, binge eating? I may be saying that wrong. Um, but there's something that you're doing and you're doing it because of a broken heart. You're filling in voids through negative actions or through negative thoughts because of a broken heart. And if this is you, you must gain back access to the key that you've gave that you've given to someone else, or that you've given to drugs, that you've given to drinking. Those things are not the answer, and only you can discover how to gain access back into your heart, how to gain access back to that key that you've given away to something or someone only you can fully figure that out I mean yes there there's people who can tell you how to find it but it's much more meaningful when you discover it for yourself okay this is your journey you are you for a reason you're 
you're given all these obstacles for a reason and it means so much more when you figure it out on your own make the effort make the effort to you know reach out to someone make the effort to take time to yourself make the effort to work out make the effort to heal right now i just feel like this week is just all about making the effort and make sure that you're doing it not from a wounded heart not from a broken heart not for pity not to be petty but you're doing it because you don't want to feel this pain you don't want to feel this burden anymore uh for some of you there may be confessions coming out secrets coming to the light um you know regardless of if this confession or this secret you know it, it may hurt some people and it may be a bit disturbing but you got to get that out skeletons are coming out of the closets all right deal with it properly well hopefully you guys enjoyed this reading good luck with everything and i shall see you guys next week take care bye